Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Common Ground. Penny Dog and I are so happy to see you. Today is our last day of the week. Do you guys remember what day that is? Well, let's sing our days of the week and let's find out. So yesterday was Thursday. So today is the day that comes after Thursday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yesterday, Friday, that's today, Saturday. One, two, three, four, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One more time. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's today, Saturday is tomorrow. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, guys, that's right. Today is Friday, and we're going to go right into da, 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 our holiday today. What is our holiday for today? It's National Newspaper Carrier Day. Do you guys get a newspaper delivered to your house? Some people do, some people don't. Because a lot of us, we read our news on our phones now, moms and dads and grown-ups. We read news on our phones or maybe we get news from TV or from our computers. But newspapers are another way to get news and newspaper carriers are people who deliver the newspaper to your house. And tomorrow, because it's Saturday and we won't have circle time, it's cheese pizza day. How cool is that? And then on Monday is actually a real holiday, but there's also a silly holiday in here. So don't worry, I'll let you know what that is too. Let's have a quick song for Mr. Josh and then we'll come back and we'll get to our real calendar. Got it? Great. All right guys, I'm gonna need help coming up with animals for this one. Can you help me? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Oh, Nick Donald.
my sheep. E-I-E-I-O. With, uh, what does the sheep say? With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there. Here, ba, there, ba, everywhere, ba-ba. On McDonald's at a farm. E-I-E-I-O. I actually forgot what a sheep said there for a minute. And on that farm he had a... A cat. E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. A doggy? E-I-E-I-O With a woof woof here and a woof woof there Here woof there woof and there woof woof Old McDonald's had a fun E-I-E-I-O Alright, excellent. That song was awesome. So we've got our real calendar right here. We're going to cross off yesterday. And today is Friday. Yesterday was the third. So today is the, did you say fourth? That's right. One is the first, two is the second, three is the third, and four is the fourth. And today is Friday, September 4th. How cool is that? You know what? Penny Dog here has something that's four. She has four little paws. Two in the front and two in the back. That's right, her little paws. She's got four of them. All right, guys, I think it's time for one more quick song. What do you guys think? Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, sun Mr. Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. All right. I'm glad Mr. Josh recorded that song for us. All right, guys, up next, we've got Miss LJ, and she is going to read us a story. So get ready because it's a great one. Hi, everybody. It's Miss LJ. I love reading, don't you? Do you like to read upside down? Do you like to read in the tub or in the car or in your bed or hanging upside down from the monkey bars? I've done all those things. Do you know who else likes to read? Dr. Seuss. I think that's why he wrote so many books. And today we're going to read I Can Read With My Eyes Shut. I can read with my eyes shut. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color too. Oh, pickle glasses, that's silly. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. I can read with my left eye. I can read with my right eye. Fish, another fish. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and hallelujah too. I can read them with my eyes shut. That is very hard to do. But it's bad for my hat and it makes my eyebrows get red hot. So reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader because there's so, so much to read. You don't have to be a speedy reader, guys. You read at the pace that makes you happy. Cat in the Hat has some wild ideas. You can read about trees and bees and knees and knees on trees and bees on threes. You can read about anchors and all about ants. You can read about ankles and crocodile pants. 
You can read about hoses and how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on noses. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, oh, the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff you'll learn about. Fish bones and wish bones, you'll learn about trombones too. You'll learn about Jake the pillow snake and all about Foo Foo the snoo. You can learn about ice, you can learn about mice, mice on ice and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. Nice ice for sale, 10 cents a pail. You can learn about sad and glad and mad. There's so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. The more you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. How mysterious. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars or how to make donuts or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play a hut zut if you keep your eyes open, but not with them shut. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find the place where you're going is far, far behind. Wabash Road Closed, Nashville, Tokyo, Detour, Restrooms. Welcome to Wilkes Bar, Dallas, San Diego, Lake Forest, Scandinavia, Selena, Kansas, Birthplace of Curse, Able, blah, 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 so much to read. So, that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide. Keep them wide open, at least on one side. The end. If you can't read, I'll read to you your mom or your dad or your teacher or your brother or your sister or maybe your dog. Just find a way that makes you happy and enjoy the stories. Bye you guys. I just love when Miss LJ reads us stories. They are so great. Well, we have another story this time from me. So I hope you enjoy it. The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. Wow, this is a different take. I wonder what it's like. Once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day, mother called the three little wolves around her and said, my children, it's time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry, mother, we will watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and off they set off. Soon they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please, will you give us some of your bricks, asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built, them, built themselves a house of bricks. There they are, building a house of bricks. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves, wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden when they saw the big bad pig coming. They ran inside the house and locked the door. They're playing croquet. The pig knocked on the door and grunted, little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. He huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. The three little wolves only just managed to escape before the bricks crumbled and they were very frightened indeed. We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. 
Just then, they saw a beaver who was making, mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete? Asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the beaver, and he gave them buckets and buckets full of messy, slurry concrete. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of concrete. No sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the little wolves had built. They were playing battledore and shutter, shuttlecock in the garden when they saw the big bad pig coming. They ran inside their house and shut the door. The pig rang the bell and said, little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, no, no said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his pneumatic drill and smashed the house down. The three little wolves managed to escape, but their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling and trembling. We shall build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then, they saw a truck coming down the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give, some, give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars, some armored plates, and some heavy metal padlocks? They said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Sure, said the rhinoceros. He gave them plenty of barbed wire, iron bars, armored plates, and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was generous and kind. He was a generous and kind hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one could possibly imagine. They felt absolutely safe. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling along down the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house, bolted the door, and locked all 37 padlocks. The pig dialed the video entrance phone and said, Little frightened wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He brought some dynamite and laid it against the house, lit the fuse and... The house blew up. The three little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tails scorched. See that? <sighs> something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different. But what? At the moment, they saw a flamingo coming along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers? Asked the little wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo, and he gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. This is very interesting. 
One wall was of marigolds, one of daffodils, one of pink roses, and one of cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers and the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in their bathtub and buttercups in their refrigerator. It was a rather fragile house and it swayed with the wind, but it was very beautiful. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the little wolves had built. He rang the bluebell at the door and said little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves, by the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. But as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff, he smelled the soft scent of flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent was so lovely, the pig took another breath and then another. And instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with a fragrant scent. His heart grew tender and he realized how horrible he had been. Right then, he decided to become a big good pig. He started to sing and dance the Tarantella. At first, the little wolves were a bit worried it might be a trick, but soon they realized that the pig truly had changed. So they came running out of their house. They started playing games with him. They first played pig pog and then piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into the house. They offered him tea and strawberries and wolf berries and asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived happily together ever after. Wow, I really loved this story. Isn't that incredible? The wolves tried to use stronger materials to keep the pig out. But once the pig realized that he had a kind heart, he was welcomed in. So that kind of lets me know that maybe when we look inside and we keep a kind heart, we can all be a kind community together, don't you think? And the wolves, they thought the pig was bad and they didn't keep treating him bad once he had changed. They changed their opinion too. Because Did you guys like that? I'm so glad. Well, we still need to check the weather, but I think we need a dance break. What do you guys think? All right, so hop on up. It's time to dance with Mr. Josh. So here he is. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! Now here's the fun part. We got to do all three. Are you ready, Miss Jeanette? I'm ready, are you? I'm ready. If you're happy and you know it, you all three. Stop, stop, stop. Hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, you all three. Thank you, everybody. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed your dance break. Now it's time to check the weather. So, what's the weather like today? Can we go outside and play? 
<laughs> I'm still working on that. But you know what? My favorite thing to do is try, even if I mess up. Because every time I try something, even when I mess up, it gets me one step closer to doing it right. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's look out our window and see what the weather is going to be like. Ready? I see some clouds. I see some sun. And I think it's going to be one of those days that has some sun and has some clouds and it's warm. And there might be some sneaky summer storms that come in a little bit later. So make sure you spend a lot of time outside while it's nice because fresh air, sunshine, daylight, it's great for us. All right, guys, we've got one more song for Mr. Josh, but that's it for Circle Time today. We'll see you on Monday, which is a holiday, and then we'll see you for our very first day of school on Tuesday. What does that mean? Well, it means you're gonna get some new stuff on Circle Time. How cool is that? We're pretty excited. Well, we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Say goodbye, Penny Dog. Oh, she's sleeping. Shh. Bye. Thank you.